Hello, welcome to Wise Guys. Patterns make math easy. How to multiply two digit numbers quickly. Part one. Let me show you. Uh, there are several ways to do multiplication because the problem when people doing multiplication is carry over the number. For example, you multiply, say, 45 multiply 39, then you do 45 multiply 39. 5 multiply 9 is 45, you mark down f is 45, you mark down 4. Then 4 times 9 is 36. 36 need to plus 4 is 36 plus 4 is 40. This is this time you didn't make a mistake because sometimes it's you know the mental mass is not good enough, you make a mistake, okay? This is carry on. Then next is three times five is fifteen. You you mark one, three times four is twelve plus one is thirteen, right? You have carry over, carry over. Then you add the number. You have five, five, seven, one. So the answer is one seven five five. So this is a carry over, carry over. So easy make mistakes. So in this video, I try to introduce several different methods. The idea is if you can multiply only digit without any carry over, that's make easy. So one way is is line method. We call line method. Some somebody call Japanese method. I call it uh, line method. Those method are for small number. For example, you say twelve multiply thirty three. They draw line whoop. 12, 1, they draw line, 1 line, 2, they draw 2 lines, yeah. this is 12, is 1, 2, and 3, 3, multiply 33, they draw 3 lines, and 3 here, 3 lines, 33, then you count the dot, the 1 meet with 3 lines, you have 1, 2, 3, you have 3 here. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six. This is a one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the answer, this one, is the first digit. You got the three. This one is the last digit. You got the six. And these two, add them together. Six plus three equals nine. The answer is 396. At that situation, you don't need to do carry over the draw line. And also this line, uh, this method is very good for uh, elementary school students or people who just start learning multiplication. Let them visible and understand what means one more times three, two more times three, that situation, right? You say if you this is a line method, but this is for small number. If you're doing this one 45 with the 39, you need to draw four lines. You need to draw four lines, and this is draw five lines, and this is draw three lines, and draw nine lines. There's too much, too much, and the count too difficult. That's what the second method that I introduced you is a box method. I call it box method. Box method is they draw a box by the number 45 45 39. Write the number beside it 45 
multiply 39 is write this one. Then you multiply these two, is 3 multiply 5 is 15, and you write the f 1 here, 5 here. So 3 multiply 5 is 15, and 3 multiply 4 is 12, and 5 multiply 9 is 45, and 4 multiply 9 is 36. They don't do carrying over. After that, you add number 5. This is a 5, 4, 6. We, mod, uh, we plus 4 with 6 is 10, plus 5 is 15. Put 5 here, 15, you need to carry 1 here. And the 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6, plus this one is 7, right? 6 is 7 because these three numbers add together is 6 and carry 1 is 7 and this is 1. So the answer is so 45 multiplied 39 is 1755 right? 1755 draw box method but I feel like a draw box method special for it's, it's still difficult because draw box. Sometimes you need to have the paper already with box. That's easy. Otherwise, if you draw box, it is difficult. So now I find my method is I call it digit. Digits method. Also, this is uh, my method. I, I call it means method. The idea is the same, which is make no carrying over, but no need to draw a line and no need to draw a box. What I do in this way 45 multiply 39, for example, this question. You still multiply the digit by digit. You multiply 3, 4 is 12. Multiply 5 with 9 is 45, right? This is a, you don't need to do carrying over. 3 multiply 4 is 12. 5 multiply 9 is 45. And second step, you multiply this diagonal. 4 multiply 9 is 36. Still doing the same way with transitional. We put one zero here. And 4 multiplied 6 is 36. And second, you still write the 3 multiplied 5 is 15. You still write the 0 here. Write the 15 here. Do the diagonal. So you add them. So you got 5. You got the 5. And you get 7, 1. Same answer, 1755. Without doing draw line, without doing draw box, do digits method. One more example I show you. Sometimes maybe the question is, let's say you have 92 multiply, let's say, 36. No, let's say 33. 30, 33, okay? 33. The reason I show you that because you multiply digit, you say 3 multiply 9, 27. 2 multiply 3 is 6. What you need to be careful, you need to write 0, 6. Okay? You do not write only 6. 2 multiplied 3 is less than 10, you write the 0, 6. Everything else, diff, uh, everything else will be the same, but this one, 2 multiplied 3 is 6, but you write the 0, 6 because less than 10. The next is still 3 times 9 is 27. Still 0, and 2 times 3 is zero, 6. 6. Right? You can put 0 or not put 0, it doesn't matter. So you, what do you have? 6, 13, 3. 
CO36. So if you, you calculate the check this answer, you have 92 multiply 33 equals to 3036, right? 3036. One more question is say if you have uh, 64 multiply 12, I said yes. Sir. And this one you split digit, 1 multiply 6 is 6 is 0, 06, 2 multiply 8 is 8, 0, 08, right? Then you multiply diagonal is add 0, 12, and 0 one time is 4. You put zero or not, it doesn't matter. But you need to put the first uh, zero here. So add eight, six, seven. This zero, it doesn't matter. You don't need to put it in because just uh, because you you get used to whenever the number multiplied together less than ten, you write zero six, right? So this is uh, seven sixty eight. So. It doesn't matter to diagonal which one do first. Let's say you have a question here like this one. You have 96 times 98. See, this is a big number, right? If you do carry over, it's a really big number. But you do digit method, you separate it 9 times 9, 81. 6 times 8, 48. If you do this one first, you also 6 times 9, 54, 0, 54. You do this one first and do this one. It is 72. Add together, this is the 8, this is 10. 4 times 4 plus 4, 2 is 10 plus 1. This is 13, 14 is 9. 94 or 8. You can see 96 multiply 98 equals equals 9408. So thank you.